A very big hello to all my wonderful KCD champions. I hope you're doing absolutely great. So we know that this year has brought in a lot of changes and one such big change has come with choice 3 as well. What do you mean by choice 3? Choice 3 simply means you're rejecting a college that you have got and you're looking for an upgrade. Now the change that they have added up this year is that you would also have to pay a caution deposit of rupees 10,000 if at all you're going with choice 3. And now this is where all the children are now confused. Should we actually pay 10,000? Is it actually worth it, ma'am? Should we risk that 10,000 rupees or should we just go with choice two or something else? So I am here to give you a clear cut idea about that and always understand one very important thing. All the four choices has its own consequences. You should be knowing about that. Without knowing about that, do not go and make any decision. Please make sure you are studying about it perfectly and then only going ahead and making decision and I am here to help you with choice 3. If at all you think that this video is going to help you, do not forget to click on the like button and if you have any doubts my dear children, put it down in the comment section below. So what exactly is choice 3? Choice 3 is basically I have got an XYZ college and ma'am I am not at all satisfied with this college. I do not know why I put it in the list or probably the case might be like this that I had put a college with a particular course probably i went for civil engineering but now later on i understand i understood that in this college for civil engineering the placement is really not that great so i should have given a better option out there or probably i have much better option out there i would i'm looking for that option rather than this particular course so either it can be either about the course or about the college but anyway i am not satisfied with the allotted college or the course so what will you do my dear children you will reject it and when you reject it please understand you are surrendering your seat that means you cannot have the hold of it once you go to the next round you cannot come back and claim that i had got this seat no you had rejected it which is why you say that you have surrendered the seat and now you wish to participate in what the next round but when you participate in the next round the new thing that have come up is that you would have to pay 10,000 rupees and I am here to tell you when is paying 10,000 rupees worth it and when it is not worth it. So listen to me carefully. So when your current seat is really not acceptable, that means it's a wrong branch. It is a very bad college. In that case, okay, I am sure I can pay 10,000 and I have made my list properly in such a way that in the next round, I will definitely get a good college. In that case, it is worth it. Now, when it is not worth it, when you already have a desired seat, when you think the college that you have got, my dear children, if you think that it's not that bad, it's a good college, it's an okay college, then you should consider, you should consider taking up that particular college. That is what you mean by when 10,000 is not worth it. That means you should not be going with choice tree. If the condition is like this, if you have got a decent college, then why not go with the choice one rather than choice three? Now, next thing. When is it worth it? You are confident about better options in your rank range. Ma'am, I'm ready to pay 10,000 rupees. Ma'am, in the next round, suppose my dear children, you have not made up a proper list out there. Okay, you have not made up a proper list out there. It will be a big trouble. So if you're sure I have made a proper list, I, I have put the college that I want, I have reordered. Remember over here, you cannot add options, right? You can either delete or you can rearrange the option. So you have arranged it properly. And in that case, you're satisfied like, okay, I'm confident that in the next round, if at all I go, I'll get a good college. Now, suppose you are unsure whether better seats are available for you, then please not go for this option. If you are unsure that I may not get uh, the next good seat out there, if you go with the option, what will you have? You will lose the seat that you already have and the next round also you will not get it. So in that case, please not go with choice three. Okay, only if you're confident that you will get with the rank that you have scored, then go with choice three. And you missed arranging options properly earlier and want to fix it. If you feel that, okay, I it, it was a problem of my arrangement, but if I fix it, I'll get it, then it's okay. You can go for this particular round. Otherwise, you just want to try your luck, then there is a high risk of what? Regret as well. Do not do that. So these are the three points that you need to keep in mind. If you have got your desired seat, if the college is good, if the branch is okay, it has great placements, keep it. Don't go for choice three. If you are unsure that whether you will get better seats later on, 
do not go for choice 3 if you want to move out of the counseling go out of the counseling if you get it somewhere if you get a better seat elsewhere you can do that but do not take choice 3 because in the next round suppose you get something you would have to compulsorily take it if you're not taking it your 10000 rupees is gone apart from that your penalty will be there so please do not do that mistake you just want to try luck do not do that okay no trying of luck over here in competitive examination now the risk with taking choice 3 you should understand that if you don't get what you expect you can't go back to round 2 seat suppose i went to round 3 and i have got xyz college oh ma'am i don't like this college initially i got zyx college that was far better than this i don't want this can i go back no okay you must take whatever round 3 gives so if this is the college you have to take it otherwise my dear children 10000 rupees gone you would have to pay the course fee and also the penalty so please not do that mistake now 10000 rupees is gone if you reject the seat as i told you and apart from that so that's the only thing that they have written over here but in the official statement by the director which was given it was said that you would also have to pay the penalty so they have not mentioned it over here but i'm telling you all the risk probabilities that you could have so do not risk it my dear children if at all you're not sure please go with if at all you do not want to participate go with uh, choice four that is reject and withdraw from the counseling process and go elsewhere go join the college that you're looking forward for okay if it's sure that uh, okay the college that i have got it's not that bad go with choice one okay go with choice one or probably go with choice two the choice two is basically where you would have to pay the course fee but still at least you are safe in this case you would not be safe you would not be getting the college so only if you do not like the college at all go with this particular option otherwise please not go okay and make sure the most important thing i do not know yeah uh, okay i have mentioned the most important thing is that what should you do if you take if you have taken or if you take choice three my dear children keep only the choice which you will definitely join okay keep only those colleges and those courses that you love otherwise please please do not go ahead if you are messing up with the uh, list out there you are going to mess around everything so don't do that mistake and always remember suppose i have one two three four five six seven eight nine colleges or ten colleges are there suppose i have got the seventh one and i have rejected i went with choice three over here I have went with choice three over here. That means I am rejecting this college. So seventh college and course would not be visible to you. Whatever college and course was it, it won't be visible to you. Everything else would be still there. So you have to rearrange your options in a way that you're keeping something at the top that you love and also it's within the rank range. It should not be like okay, I have put RVC College. The cutoff is like a thousand, and my rank rank is ten thousand. Don't do that mistake. Okay, you can keep RVC at the top. But below that, please keep colleges that you may get with the rank that you have got. Please understand that. Okay. So I hope that is all clear to you. I hope now you will think for some time whether it is like this or is it like this and then make a decision. And if at all you need our help in any ways, as I told you, comment down in the comment section. We are here to help you with that as well. Wishing you all the best, my dear children. I'll be soon making a video for choice two as well. So if at all you're confused between choice two or choice three or anything else, you can clear all your confusions up there as well. So wishing you all the best. Bye-bye. Take care. Lots of love from Jasmine, ma'am.